There are a bunch of unique Bitcoin Cash wallets these days and even more interesting clients on the horizon. However, there is one particular Bitcoin Cash BCH wallet called Electron Cash that's been around since the inception of BCH offering a secure platform and now the ability to shuffle BCH with the Cash Shuffle plugin. The BCH-centric Electron Cash Wallet Today we are going to discuss how to install the Electron Cash Wallet, a light client that provides users the ability to control their own private keys. The platform provides users with a secure SPV wallet that doesn't need to download the entire BCH chain. The Electron Cash Client is a fork of the Electrum Wallet software and was developed by a programmer that uses the pseudonym, Donald Fjelkball. The latest release of Electron Cash is the 3.2 version, which can be found at electroncash.org website alongside the source code which is also located on GitHub. In order to install Electron Cash, you need to choose which operating system works best out of four choices, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Android. Creating a standard wallet with Electron Cash after downloading the desired client for your operating system, open the application when the download finishes. Some machines will require an administrator password to open the Electron Cash client. When the program begins the user is then asked whether or not they want to tether to a manually configured server or auto-connect to the client's servers. Choosing the auto-connect is the easiest route, and then Electron Cash asks you to name your wallet or you can leave it named as default wallet. After downloading the Electron Cash Client, you are asked to either configure your own server or auto-connect to the list of servers and name the BCH wallet. The next step shows one of the Electron Cash features other BCH wallets still provide, the ability to create a multi-signature wallet. This means more than one individual can share a wallet and the Electron Cash program will not sign a transaction unless the other person authorizes the transaction. Essentially, the multi-signature technology allows Electron Cash to send and receive encrypted transmissions of partially signed transactions. For a full explanation on how Electron Cash multi-signature wallets work, and how to create one, can be found here. From here Electron Cash allows you to create a standard wallet, multi-signature wallet or import an existing wallet. At this stage, you can also import an existing address or private keys but for this walkthrough, we chose to create a standard wallet. Following choosing the standard wallet option the program will ask the user if they want to create a new seed and encrypt the wallet with a password. Encrypting the wallet with a password is optional, but a less secure option if it is not used. If you choose a good password, make sure you write it down as it is required to access the funds held on an Electron Cash wallet. If an encrypted password is not chosen you can leave the field blank and users can encrypt the wallet at any time after creation. Always write your seed down on something physical that can be hidden like a piece of paper. Never take a screenshot or picture of your seed. After choosing to create a new seed the Electron Cash Wallet it gives a 12-word phrase as a backup. The program will show you the seed and it's best to write down the 12 words on a piece of paper that's ultimately kept hidden and safe from prying eyes. After being shown the seed phrase Electron Cash will ask the user to verify the 12 words by typing each one in the next field. After completing this task the wallet is ready for receiving, sending, signing digital signatures, and more. A view of the Electron Cash Wallet 3.2 version standard wallet. 
the Cash Shuffle plugin now for those who are touch more tech savvy they can download the Cash Shuffle plugin that works for Windows and Linux. The Cash Shuffle plugin allows users to mix their coins by utilizing a coin join method so the origins of where the BCH derived from is obfuscated. Essentially you need to edit a few lines of code within the readme file to add the cash shuffle feature into your electron cache directory. After the editing of the code is complete the shuffling feature will be available within the wallet interface. The cash shuffle plugin for the electron cash wallet can only be installed on Windows and Linux versions. In order to make a shuffle you need an address with at least 0.01 to 0.1 BCH held in the UTXOs in your wallet and then choose a server from the list. After choosing a server and selecting a change address and shuffle output address you can then enable the shuffling process. When five participants are on the same server, the mixing process will start and if things go wrong you will see an error in the dialog window. Moreover, you can also configure the server's list and add your own server to the index. An in-depth walkthrough about the necessary code changes needed to install the Cash Shuffle plugin alongside the plugin source code and the plugin itself can be found here. In order to make a shuffle, you need an address with at least 0.01 to 0.1 BCH held in the UTXOs in your wallet and then choose a server from the list. iOS and feature phone client coming soon The Electron Cash Wallet is a simple to use and secure light client for multiple operating systems and offers a few features other wallets don't provide. According to the GitHub repository, Donald Fjokbal is the Electron Cash lead developer, but 205 contributors have helped this project according to the repo. As mentioned above, the wallet is available for most operating systems, but unfortunately, there is no client software built for iOS devices. However, the development team recently announced that CoinGeek will be funding the Electron Cash project and more features were recently added to the software roadmap. Electron Cash developers are planning to launch an iOS version and a feature phone, Nokia version of the wallet as well. What do you think about the Electron Cash wallet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Disclaimer, walkthrough editorials are intended for informational purposes only. There are multiple security risks and methods that are ultimately made by the decisions of the user. There are various steps mentioned in reviews and guides and some of them are optional. Neither Bitcoin.com nor the author is responsible for any losses, mistakes, skipped steps or security measures not taken. As the ultimate decision-making process to do any of these things is solely the reader's responsibility. For good measure always cross-reference guides with other walkthroughs found online. Thank you for listening to my channel. Please subscribe for get hot news in the world.